Well, it's dead on the dot of 11 o'clock on Friday and we're off. We should be at Theobalds Park in about two hours, I guess, but sometime around, uh, sometime around one o'clock and uh, we should be set up by two and drinking tea. Riverside Park has been a really nice park to stay on, but sadly we haven't had the weather. It's been fairly disgusting. Yesterday was the best day with a bit of sunshine and we made the best of that. Um, Wednesday was kind of dryish and Tuesday was fairly disgusting. But today, hopefully, well, at least it stayed dry until we've left here and hopefully it'll be dry when we get to London. So we'll see how it all goes. Well, we just managed to get away from Riverside Park before the rain started tipping down and it certainly was pouring as we came up the M3 and we're now travelling around the M25 heading towards Theobalds Park. We've got about another 10 or 15 minutes to go and we'll be there. So hopefully it won't rain too much while we're just putting up the caravan. We don't have much to do when we get there. Hopefully we'll have a nice pitch on a hard standing so we don't get all muddy again and we'll see how we go. For the second part of this holiday we thought we'd try central London because really we want to get away from somewhere where the rain stops you enjoying yourself and going to the city uh, might actually resolve the problem. There's always something to do, you're away from the countryside so you're not so worried about wandering about and getting lost. So we've come to Theobalds Park and since the last time we've been to Theobalds Park they've rebuilt it. It's beautiful, it's a really lovely campsite much more developed than it used to be with great facilities, really nice pictures, and here it is. I'm so impressed. Beautiful hard standings, hard surfaced roads, and an excellent facilities block, clean and bright with a clean, smart design. The whole site has been completely rebuilt with all new entry system and reception block. The layout has been changed too with a one-way system and raised hard standing pitches for all weather use. Ideal for this dismal summer of 2012. I've always liked Theobalds Park just because it's so convenient for central London but now we can like it because it's such a pleasant and well laid out site. With these improvements, making it a year-round site instead of a summer season site would be practical. It would certainly help members wanting to visit London and its environs in the autumn and winter. So how about it, Camping and Caravanning Club? If you think Theobalds Park would be a welcome addition to the roster of year-round sites, drop the club's chairman and the chief executive a line. They'd love to hear from you. See you soon.